Can you make a game with only one color? That was the question my friend asked me. Well, obviously not one color, because you couldn't tell everything apart. But plenty of people have done it within one color group. Bet you can't make a game with only one color in a week. F*** you. Just watch me. G'day everyone, let's get right into it. I've got a week to make this game, so I've got to keep everything simple. And one of the simplest games to make is a platformer. But I don't want to have to mess around with coyote time or jump buffering, so we'll make the character jump automatically, and the difficulty can come from timing those jumps with your horizontal movement. But what character would always be jumping? A frog? Probably, but that would take too long to draw and animate. Um, what else bounces? A ball? F*** it, let's keep moving. The first priority is all about setting up the basics and the different blocks that would be in a game. Here's a quick breakdown. We got normal blocks, blocks that break, blocks that make you bounce, blocks that kill you, and blocks that yeet you across the screen. I should fix that. Speaking of things to fix, we've got this boring old circle. Need to give it some personality. How do we do that? Simple, draw a f***ing face on it. Boom, personality check. This little guy needs a name, something with authority. So I'd like you all to meet the brilliant ambassador of Zippy Zany Adventures, or f***ing Baza for short. Now this is where things went a little pear-shaped. Instead of focusing on something important like the level design or ability, or I don't know, the f***ing colour, I decided to create an entire level editor which took up almost two days. Why do I do this to myself? Look, it wasn't a poor investment, it saved me a bunch of time instead of having to manually make over 20 scenes or creating some other level loading system. However, I definitely got carried away with some unnecessary features. But I can cycle through all the block types and it automatically loads the level I'm working on from a drop down. After my little detour, I had to focus on the whole point of the challenge. The colour. I made all the assets in grayscale so I could play around in editor and easily see what a level would look like in a bunch of different colours. I tried blue, red, green, but my favourite was purple. It was quite vibrant and I could lean into the blue and pink tones to get some strong contrast. Now that I've got my level editor and colours pretty much sorted, it was time to get back to wrapping up the game flow. With a couple of test levels, I put together a quick menu that could display a set number of levels and you could cycle through all the levels with some buttons. I also added a quick retry and menu button to the level and then realised I forgot to make the player killable. So I added a bunch of colliders around the map and if Bazaar touches any of them, he dies. And that's about everything. Wait, how do you complete a level? Um, okay, stars. So each level will have a number of stars and the player will complete the level when Baza gets all the stars. I was working on some level design when I realised I needed something extra to add some more difficulty and variety to the game. I couldn't think of any new block type, so instead I decided to give the character some power-ups. Two simple ones, a jump and a dash. But I didn't want the player to be able to do it all the time, because that takes away the natural challenge from timing your movement. So instead, we'll make the power-ups consumable. Now, when Basil walks over one of the tokens, he will store the power-up and change colour to show that he's holding an ability. Then, pressing the spacebar will activate that power. It's a small addition that adds another level of difficulty and allows for some tougher and more creative level design. Last thing to change up is the background. Currently, it's blander than plain pasta. I was going to start making my own, but then I thought, why? There were no rules about using assets that I already owned. So I started sifting through my asset list when I stumbled upon a pixel asset with a great mountain background. Perfect. And that's when I saw it. It was at this point I knew I had to drop everything and put the frog in, even if it's the last thing I do. With a quick stop in Photoshop, I was able to turn it purple and put him back into the game. A moment of silence for the original Bazaar. New Bazaar was looking so great that I frantically spent the remainder of my time limit updating all the art with recolored sprites from the asset pack. I also had to remake a bunch of my custom sprites since the new ones were all 16x16 16 16 and having two different resolutions just looks off. I was able to add in the animations which I think adds another nice level of polish to the game. I made a small change to Baz's name to make it fit just a little bit better and then it was time to wrap up the menu with some new sprites. And after a lot of fiddling, I was finally happy with how everything looked and worked together. The background and basic blocks looked great but they weren't too eye catching and the special blocks stood out from everything else to make them identifiable. And that's a week. So I made a build of the game and sent it over to my friend for his verdict. And he gave me a very generous 4 out of 5. I would have loved to add some more levels and polish and particle effects, and I would have loved to play around with the colours just a little bit more. 
but who would have thought you'd run out of time if you spent the majority of your time limit on an unnecessarily complex level editor? Look, this was a fun challenge, but cramming this all into one week while doing full-time work is crazy. I might come back to it in a little bit and add some of those final touches and some more levels, but for now, if you want to check out the game yourself, I've left a link to the itch page in the description. That's everything for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and if you tried the game, be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers everyone.